What up guys, welcome to Game Over Entertainment. This is my Life is Strange discussion part four about Max's powers and how they work, some new developments that we had in this episode, and so on and so forth. So in episode four, actually, Max only used her powers, I counted at uh, two times, where you had to uh, basically go in the past and change some things. So the first time being, she had to use the photo rewind to get back to the original timeline which I have a question about the photo rewind and how it really works because it wasn't really explained. And then the second one is uh, where she had to move the tractor, applies around in the Prescott barn in order to get to that super secret door underneath the uh, the barn and get to the safe and everything else, which I don't think is that important. That was just a mechanic to uh, basically have some kind of element of gameplay in this episode. So let's go ahead and talk about the photo rewind. One big question I have about it is that um, when you use the photo rewind, do you have to go back to the future how long does it last because you go to the photo rewind you change a couple things and then all of a sudden is it max's will to return to the present time to see the outcome of her changes that she's made or is it something that is not under her control and automatically happens when a certain deed is done which may possibly be a very important thing in episode five because one of the biggest comments i'm getting in a lot of my videos is max actually using the photo that was taken between warren and max outside the party okay to go back in time in order to save chloe in episode five all right but if max has to use the photo rewind every time she uses the photo rewind she goes right back to the current timeline after she's done a certain deed if it's not in her willpower to stay in the past, that means you have to make some very key, very important moves to get things on track. So when she goes back to the current state of time, everything's still not in a hellish state. All right, so what moves can Max make in the past really quickly in a short amount of time using the photo rewind that will ensure that she is, that Chloe stays alive and that Max is not in the state that she's currently in right now? being captured, being drugged by Mr. Jefferson. That's one of the questions I have, and uh, I'm still curious about how that works. Uh, number two, uh, Max's origin. So I've talked about this in a couple of my previous videos about Max's powers. Where did these uh, rewind powers actually come from? Now that is something that I don't think we're gonna get a reveal on or find out in this final episode of this season, okay? Uh, one thing that I now actually revealed uh, in, talking, in talks about a season two is that um, they would do it with a different place, different characters, but one thing I think is pretty concrete about Life is Strange is probably the rewind mechanic. I think that may be essential or important element to the way things roll and uh, in order for that to be remain a mystery or to be like coincide with all the uh, future seasons that they plan on making, we'll probably never get a reveal of how the uh, powers actually manifested or where they actually came from. Having that be a constant mystery where we were to compare these different characters maybe throughout these possible uh, sequential seasons about how they got the power and trying to find similarities and seeing what's happened in their life and how they would have got the power. I don't think we're actually gonna get an answer as where did these powers come from? How did Max get these? I think it's gonna be remain open, open question. And lastly, I wanna talk about how episode four, the ending was completely preventable if Max had full control of her rewind powers, okay? She had full control of everything we've seen her do thus far. That ending where Mr. Jefferson kills Chloe and drugs Max up could have completely gone the other way. Max having the upper hand and being totally dominated in the situation. So let me go ahead and get into it real quick, man. So in episode two, at the end of episode two, Kate Marsh's life is in danger. Max, what she do when her powers are starting to fail her, she use, she freezes time in that instance, able to move around and even interact with objects while everybody else remains still and stuck. All right, now she was able to keep up that mode for about hmm, maybe five to seven minutes, walking through the girls' dorm, getting to the staircase, going upstairs at an average walking speed. So if Max could actually enact that other freeze time ability right there before entering the junkyard, she could have saw the threat coming a mile away. First, checking on Rachel Ember to make sure the body is still in that makeshift grave. Then after seeing that, deriving the fact that this is obviously a track, look around for the pursuer or whoever else was trying to surprise them or catch them off guard. That's where she would catch Mr. Jefferson, probably with latex gloves, a syringe in one hand, and a gun probably in his holster or in his pocket, okay? So bam, there you go. Mr. Jefferson exposed right there. Max probably completely caught off guard by what she's seeing right now and disbelief that Mr. Jefferson is actually the one behind everything else. But able to go back to Chloe and maybe tell her, I know what's going on. I've seen everything. I've already been here before. 
All right, so that's how she could do it if she had full control of that freeze time power, man. Probably one of the coolest things I've seen Max do, and uh, she's only done it one time. If she could reciprocate that ability again, that actually can get her to get her out of a lot of situations that she could possibly uh, that she's in right now too. So, yeah, guys, just want to hear your thoughts about this, man. So this is a pretty short video compared to my other ones, but not really much happened as far as development of Max's powers. And uh, now we got episode five on our hands, and uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Do you think we're going to be seeing some new powers from Max in episode five? Um, I don't know, but I do think we're going to get some monumental, like time rinding moment. Okay. Some big epic moment where Max is going to push her powers to the limit or yeah, I think we're going to see something new. Just something she hasn't done before, taken to the limits of her power. All right. But yeah, guys, that's the end of this video, man. Thumbs up is always appreciated. And tell me your thoughts about it in the comments below. Peace.